Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Retro Alliance Gaming. How are all of you doing today? How, 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 oh wait, I can't hear them, can I? No. They can't hear me. <laughs> wait, Anywhere. I can hear you? What are you talking about? Oh wait, I hope you can hear me. If not, this is going to be a really, really, really bad video. Anyways guys, I just wanted to welcome you to a very special episode today. Now why is this episode special? Well, I'm going to be reviewing an indie Dreamcast game called Leona's Tricky Adventures. Now, anytime I'm reviewing any indie game that has come out for the Dreamcast since its demise back in 2001, at least in America, it's always something that's incredibly exciting. But there's something just a bit more exciting about it today. Now, our channel is rather small. We have somewhere near 600 subs, and I love every single one of you, and I'm grateful for your support, but there isn't exactly companies out there that are, you know, dialing us up. I don't think people dial this way, by the way, do they? They don't dial this way. <laughs> uh, they're not calling us, they're not dialing us up, you know what I mean? They're not emailing us, I'm just making up new things now. They're not exactly trying to uh, bang down our door to offer us copies of games or demos or stuff to review because the point normally for them is to get it out to a broader audience for people to know about. Which is even more surprising for the video I have for you today. There is a company and a website called The Bit Station. I'll talk more about them later. I'm going to post them down below. But basically, what they do is they sell indie Dreamcast games. They also sell some for other systems. So any games out there that are being made like Sturmwind or Redux or any upcoming games that we have like uh, the Intrepid Izzy. Um, this is a great company. You can get all of your games here, and I highly suggest you guys check them out, by the way. I'll make sure to post a link down below. Um, they, you can also follow them on Facebook, um, all over the place. Anyways, don't think I'm too distracted, but I've been buying games from these guys for quite a while. And basically, I ended up reaching out to them, and I said, Hey guys, so I just recently bought a game. I can't even remember which one it is. I want to look over here and see. It was Fast Striker. Yeah, I have Fast Striker right here. So I'm like, uh, hey guys, I recently uh, bought a uh, Fast Striker from you and um, I'm looking really forward to playing it, but I was very curious to try a game that you have and it was Leona's Tricky Adventures. And basically, I didn't have um, the cash at the time to buy it, and I asked him if they had a demo they could provide to me so I can kind of try it out and give my impressions of it. And that was pretty much it. Well, three days later, I got contacted by somebody. Of course, this was a much longer email, and I was amazed. They basically thanked me for reaching out to them. They checked out our YouTube channel and said that they enjoyed the content and saw we put out a lot of stuff for Dreamcast. And they offered one better. They said, how would you like to have a promo copy of the entire game? I was like, wow. So anyways, these guys reaching out to our small channel sent us this promo copy of the game. And it is the entire game in full. All of it. And I have everything here and my stickers. I'm sorry, I want to open it really quick. Um, all this stuff right here. And didn't charge us a dime. They gave it to us for us to be able to review for you guys. Well, one thing they did say was they were particularly happy I asked about Leona's uh, Tricky Adventure because they felt that game didn't get as much attention in the community. And I also kind of felt that way too. And that's why I was very curious about the game. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to the Bit Station. Now, one thing I want to let you guys know, I do not review anything I don't like, period. If somebody asks me to review something and I'm not, meaning, well, more if I'm not interested, I'm not going to do it. Also, just because somebody provides me something um, and it's free does not mean I'm going to give it some kind of a glowing review. What I will do is when I get a game, I will sit down, play through it, and give you the most honest review of the game that I can. And that's what I want to do today. So me and my lovely fiance at no have sat down and played this game and i swear to god one hour <laughs> ended up turning into two and turning into more so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Welcome 
Welcome to the world of Leona's Tricky Adventures. The main protagonist you play is named Leona and she comes from a land called Felonia. Without understanding how, she is suddenly transported to this foreign land where she is greeted by a curious owl who informs you that you have been called upon by the world of Pasopia because they need your help. Now, the world is in complete disarray. All the creatures of the land have lost their homes, and everything and everyone is in danger. Basically, a huge weight has been put on your shoulders, and in order to fix everything, you are informed by the Curious Owl that you must hit various ancient switches throughout the lands. In order to do this, you simply walk up to a panel, click on it, and you immediately go into the meat and bones of the game, the puzzles you will see a variation of different kinds of puzzles that must be completed. By doing this, you're able to help out all the creatures of the land by rebuilding their forests and their homes and bringing their world back to what it once was. In the beginning, this game may actually deter a few people as it comes across very simplistic, but believe me, it absolutely positively is not. Now, before we go into the gameplay, one thing that stood out for me from the very start of the game is its beautiful score. Chris Hulsbeck has gone above and beyond the usual music you would hear for a puzzle game. The music is both endearing and entrancing and actually reminded us of RPGs from the past. I feel the music in this game is a character of its own and it really motivates you and puts you in the spirit of the world you're in. <laughs> Another thing you immediately notice is the outside of the puzzles. What kind of world is it? Well, this game is very reminiscent of 8-bit map RPGs. You're going to see beautiful drawn pixel art and be able to traverse the land from one place to another exploring these maps. You are also talking with many different characters and creatures as well as getting hits and hearing the story unfold. For me, this actually added a lot of depth to the game and it made it feel like much more than just your average puzzle solving game. Whenever I walked into a puzzle, I felt as if I were actually there standing in front of a real ancient cement slab and really trying to solve this world's problems. One thing is absolutely clear, there was a lot of heart and soul poured into this little game and I appreciated every single minute of it. Now to get into the meat and bones of the games, the puzzles. How do they work? Well, Leona's Tricky Adventure is inspired by a clever and brain-wracking puzzle game mechanic, which was briefly explored in the 90s, but it sadly faded away pretty quickly. For some reason, it just didn't seem to gain any kind of popularity or catch on as well as games like uh, Tetris or Columns. The basic task of this game is to match two complex patterns using a four-sided dial. And using this area, you're able to manipulate the different gems and colors to try to get them to match the pattern on the other side. It's difficult to describe or compare to any other puzzle-based games without jumping in for yourself, so my recommendation to you is to pick the game up and just try it for yourself. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Be aware that this game is actually really hard, but it is not unfair. It really wants you to concentrate and open up your mind. In this day and age, a lot of games try to hold your hand from beginning to end. It's not like it was back in the old day. Well, this game is definitely old school. This requires a lot of mental skill. Ironically, while I was playing this game, I noticed that what took me 10 minutes to do would take Etno, my fiance, one minute to do. She was crazy good at these games, so it was just as much fun watching her solve the puzzles as it was me playing on my own. Um, the best way to describe this game is kind of like a mix between Pit Cross and Bejeweled, but I honestly think that it goes above and beyond both of those games. 
Over the course of the game, each one of the puzzles will get more complex and throw new challenges at you, such as, for example, rocks that can't be manipulated. Ironically, this could actually work to your benefit. The thing is, as you're going through these games, once you learn and figure everything out, you really feel quite accomplished. Now sure, the concept may seem basic, making, you know, simple puzzles. What do you do? You take one puzzle on the left, and you have to make it look identical to the one that's displayed on the right. But I can guarantee you, you're going to spend literally hours and hours trying to figure them all out. On a final note guys, uh, what I would like to say is I think we are really lucky to live in a time where we're able to get retro styled games on physical discs for all the systems that we love. And we're also lucky enough to get an array of different platforms from everything from shoot 'em ups or shmups, platformers, RPGs, you name it. This is an amazing thing and one thing that I did notice is that this game seemed to slip under the radar of most Dreamcast owners. I mean, if you look up games like uh, Sturmwind, you're going to see gameplay and reviews everywhere. And if you look up Leona's Tricky Adventure, you're not going to find much. And again, I'm not really sure why. Um, maybe certain news outlets like to point out some of these bigger games that have bigger productions and more money so people tend to notice them more. I'm not really sure what it is, but one thing that I do know is that these people pour their hearts and souls into these games. Some people are so quick to jump and complain and say, this is what I don't like, or this, this is wrong, or this is wrong. Well, if you actually look at how hard it is to put a game together like this, the creative genius that goes behind it, the money that they have to raise, of finding people to actually make the game and make it run smoothly, it is actually an incredible feat. Real life, these are not triple A developers, these people out there. Normally, it's a small group of three or five people who have a passion for gaming and they have a passion for these systems and they want to make a game and they want the world to be able to play it. And the one thing that I can say is Leona's Tricky Adventures deserves a lot more than what it's received. Again, look it up, you're not going to find a whole lot on it. This game is brilliant, this game is beautiful, this game is fun, and I think it should get as much attention as any other big Dreamcast game that we've gotten out there. If you guys want to continue supporting these indie developers, and if you want to continue supporting all of these companies bringing these games to our systems, please do yourself a favor and go down below, click on the link, and at least uh, check out a review of this game, If you, other than the one you just saw with me. Um, maybe support it and give it a try, and you never know, you might just end up loving it. Other than that, guys, I just want to thank you so much again for uh, watching our channel. I hope you enjoyed the review. I want to give one more big thank you to the Bit Station for providing this beautiful game to me. And I want to thank all the creators of Leona's Tricky Adventure. No matter how many people out there may or may not have played the game, me and my fiance Etno have, and we give it the thumbs up. You guys are amazing, and it's beautiful. And <laughs> there's her thumb too. So thank you so very much, guys. And as always, my friends.